Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's focal passage is going to come from 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to His abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of, of Jesus Christ from the dead. The daily fire thought for today is as I, I now have a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Mark my word passages for today are Psalm 77, 14, Hebrews 9, 24 through 28, 1 Peter uh, 1, 3, and verse 5. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Leviticus 23, Psalm 30, Ecclesiastes chapter 6, and 1 Timothy, or 2 Timothy chapter 2. Today we're going to be talking about the impossible Jesus. People talk of Christianity and forget that at the heart of it is the greatest hope, Christ's second coming. We cannot pick and choose the bits we have, that we like and still call it Christianity. We know that he is, he is coming back because he was raised from the dead. He rose so that he will come. Paul said so when he was preaching in Athens to intellectuals. It was the kind of absolute logic they liked. Paul also said that God, in his abundant mercy, had begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time, 1 Peter 1, 3 and 5. Jesus made many tremendous promises which he kept. He promised to raise from the dead nobody he promised to raise, uh, to rise from the dead. Nobody could or would accept it. It was impossible. And they did not think that he meant it. But he did. And he walked out of the tomb. Jesus deals with impossibilities. You are, are the God who does wonders. Psalm 77, 14. He came out of the grave, therefore coming from glory is no problem. For Christ has not entered the holy place made with hands, which are copies of the true, but into the heaven itself now to appear in the presence of God for us. Not that he should offer himself often as a high priest enters the holy place every year with the blood of another. He then would have to had to suffer uh, often since the foundation of the world. But now once at the end of all of the ages he has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as it is appointed for men to die once but after that, this, the judgment, so Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly await for him, he will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. Hebrews 9, 24 through 28. Christ died and he came back from the grave and now he lives. Is that fantastic? You better believe it is. It is not a fantasy. It is where history is going. If not, then history is going nowhere at all. With great joy, you and I hold on to the tremendous promise. Jesus Christ will come again for us. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I will see you on the next trail ride.